Today is a bit of a car reveal and a bit of an update with the channel. If you are one of our 600 followers at the moment, you would see that our channel name has changed. So it's no longer Sleepers Car Club, it is now SAS UK, which stands for Sleepers and Supercars UK. This is solely down to a clothing brand we've got coming out, we want it to be a bit more marketable. And also the fact that I'm having a lot of supercars booked in for reviews and I've got a lot of sleepers booked in for reviews. Um, we're not just going to be following those cars, we're going to be at car events, we're going to be doing drag events, we're going to be doing racing events. So there's a lot more content but I just feel that that name SAS UK, it just fits a lot better. So today is a bit of a car reveal, we've got a new car which I know is tunable. It's been done by a lot of people, I know you can get power, um, exhaust, intercooler, intake, stage 3 remap, you're looking at 420, 450 brake. Um, and then forge the engine, we're looking at about 700, 750, if I really, really want to push it that far. So, without further ado... So I've come down to Insignia Signs in Bournemouth. So without further ado, here she is. So I've bought an Audi S3 8P, it's a 2011 model. Um, a lot of people will say, why didn't I get the newer one? You know, it strictly comes down to budget. Uh, uh, my sponsors gave me a budget for the car. This is the one that fell just below that budget. And then I've got a budget for what I have in mind in terms of wrapping, in terms of performance, in terms of everything. So we'll go to a few cinematics. In terms of the car, this is just a normal stock car. So 265 brake. I haven't done anything. I've, all I've done is put an intake into it. So that makes a massive difference. So that's a Ram Air intake, the big one. It's a, more, it's a lot more responsive. It's a lot, you know, it's, it's, it's quite a quick car for what it is. So I've got all my old logos on. That's now changed as the channel's changed. So we are SAS UK now. Supercars and sleepers, sleepers and supercars, however you want to say it. I've got my private plate on, he's too far. And the idea for this now is the S3 badges and everything, they're coming off to go in black. We've got a black grill for the front, which is going in, they're going to do that for me as well. The wheels will eventually go black as well. I'm not sure about the, the wing mirrors, they may go black. But I think in the back of my head, I did a little poll last night on YouTube on Facebook sorry and everyone said to just go purple the idea I've got in my head I'm going to go camo uh, the purple is going to be incorporated there's black there's grey but once we go inside we'll meet Scott this guy is amazing at what he does so he's going to show us the design on the computer he's going to show us the colours that we're able to pick we're going to go from there so I won't be able to show you the whole car being wrapped today but I'm going to show you the initial first stage and then tomorrow when it's done I'll come down I will show you the car as it's finally been wrapped um, before we start doing all the performance mods and everything. Right, so we're going to see um, my guy Spotty. Hello right, guys. How are you doing buddy? Yes. On for a grey subtle camo wrap. There's some segments of purple that reflect slightly just to give a bit more of an edge to it. Yeah. Chosen the grey based on the colour of the actual car itself. Still okay. subtle but hopefully it'll pop slightly. It'll pop more. Exactly. Looks like on there. It's a printout replication. Yeah, I think there's the, the, the purples. If, as long as that's the right binder on there, that would look so. Yeah, 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 100%, so man. So, do you mind just showing me what kind of colours we picked on the vinyl? Yeah, of course. We've got, we've got everything out yeah. here that's already been cut for the car, man. Thanks, Mikey. Okay. So, again, everything's gone from the computer through to our cutter upstairs. Cuts are all pre shaped. You've got the white there along with the grey that we've chosen. Yeah. And along with the blue, pur blue and purple deep space, it's going to go on top of everything. Okay. So we're going white, white, grey. Gray. I thought there was black. Yeah, there's black on there too, man. Yeah. So we've got some, it's quite hard to see just obviously on the thing, but we've got some black that goes on up there. I think you've got a few bits that go in there as well, along with down the back there. So okay. there will be a few, there's obviously some pieces and shit that have been added there. Yeah. And vice versa. So yeah. A bit of work, but we look forward to doing it, man. So, so this is the purple we've gone for, which kind of looks like my car. And then in the light, I you go into this light here, man, you'll be able to see it more. See, it's kind of that nice. Whew. That's gonna pop. 
Now I know everyone on, on Facebook said to go for the purple all over, but I think with the subtle edge, especially around here, I think the, the way it will shine. That's I, it, I, man. I exactly. Think pop. It's going to look good on top of the grey edge. You can obviously see already there. Yeah. And then obviously the, next to the white will make it pop even more. So that's why Mikey's added it to most of the white, as you can see there as well. So we can always add a little bit of extra white there just to sort of blend it in a bit better. So. Okay. Right, well, I look forward to this. So obviously all the badges and stuff, the, the S3 badges in the front and back, they're going to the same colour as this. Yep. So that's getting wrapped with that. Yep. And then I've got a black grill that you guys are fitting for me as well. That's it, man. So if you guys stay tuned, hopefully tomorrow, when I come to pick it up, you will see the final edit. That's it, man. Top man. Good Let's as go. well. Cheers, bro. Thank Perfect. you very much.